Power in the house of God. That's what we're going to talk about today on strength for today. Psalms chapter 85 verse 5 says, Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, whose heart are in the ways of them. Verse 7, They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeareth before God. If we want strength and we want power, it has to come from God. And the only way we can get that strength or that grace is through his presence and being near and close to him. We come to the house of God to get strength so we can have the power of God to do the work of God, to make it through the week so we can come back and worship him again on the next Sunday. That strength comes in his promises that are given to us in the word of God. Listen, folks, the Bible is the most precious gift ever given to us, the most precious possession that we have. And the greatest uh, thing that we can be that we can hear is His Word. Hebrews chapter one verse two tells us, "Hath in these last days spoken to us by His Son, that's Jesus, whom He hath appointed heir of all things, who will be in the millennial reign ruling the world, by whom also He had made the worlds, whom being the brightness of His glory and the express image of His person, and upholding all things by the Word." of his power. Folks, if you want the power of God, it is inseparable from the word of God. And where do you get the word of God? In the house of God. Those who flourish in God's courts will flourish in the world. And today, we need to find God's power, and we're going to find it in church. Make sure you're there Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night. Be there for Bible study. Be faithful to the house of God. And study to show thyself approved unto God a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And the truth will be your strength for today and your hope for tomorrow.